Whether it's a long plane flight or a 30-minute Uber ride, Netflix has become synonymous with occupying yourself while on the go. TV shows like Squid Game, Bridgerton and You all demand to be binged. It's super easy when you're at home connected to your internet, but what happens when you're travelling or commuting? In cases like this, it's useful to download all your favourite Netflix content to watch offline. How do you start downloading Netflix shows? Downloading on any of your devices is going to work the same for the most part. Netflix's app is pretty consistent from platform to platform, so instructions for iOS won't vary too much from Android and vice versa. On the iPhone and the iPad, downloading Netflix content is the same. Open the Netflix app on your iPhone and identify the show or movie you want to download. Assuming the show or movie is downloadable, a giant download button will appear beneath the play button. Tap on download and wait for the content to be downloaded. When your content is downloaded, it will appear in the Downloads section at the bottom of the app. On Android, downloads follow nearly the same steps as iOS or iPad OS. This works for general Android smartphones and tablets, as well as Amazon Fire tablets. Launch the Netflix app and locate the movie or show you wish to download and watch offline. Tap on the Download button beneath the Play button and your selected content will start downloading. Locate the Downloads menu option at the bottom of the app and tap on it to play all of your content offline. On Windows, the Netflix app is available as a free download from the Microsoft Store for both Windows 10 and 11. Launch the Netflix app on your laptop or desktop. Choose the movie or TV show you want to download. Tap or click on the Download button next to the movie or TV show and let the content download. Click or tap on the three horizontal lines at the top left of the Netflix app and locate My Downloads. You'll find all your available offline content right there. Chromebooks. As is the case with macOS, there's no native app for Chrome OS and the web version doesn't allow you to download Netflix for offline viewing. The best and only workaround is to download the Netflix app from the Play Store, if your Chromebook supports Android apps, then follow the steps outlined just now for Android and to download Netflix content on that platform. What about offline viewing for macOS? Unfortunately for Mac users, there is no direct download option for Mac. Instead, you have to utilize one of two workaround solutions. The first is to use Windows on your Mac computer. I know, it's terrible, but you'll you'll survive. This can be done in one of two ways. For Intel Mac users, Boot Camp is an option that allows you to run Windows on your Mac as a separate install. Boot Camp is no longer available on Apple's M1-based computer lineup, obviously different chip, so this option will not work with owners of M1 Macs. Note that with Bootcamp, you will still be required to provide your own Windows license. Alternatively, you can use software like Parallels to create a virtual environment for Windows on your macOS computer, and then use the Windows method for downloading movies offline. The other option is to download offline content to an iPad, and then use AirPlay to stream the files to the Mac, but that seems a little redundant, although this will allow you to take advantage of the larger screen. While it isn't the same as downloading directly to the Mac, it is kind of the next best thing. I don't know. What about storage requirements? Well, if you're planning to download a huge amount of content to your device, storage will always be an issue. The number of shows and movies you can download will depend on how much free space is available on your device, of course. How many movies you can save on your device is solely based on how much free space you want to allow for offline viewing. So how do you choose download quality? Well, as of right now, Netflix apps only allow two options for downloaded video quality. Both standard and higher are available, with the latter appearing to be somewhere in the region between 720 and 1080p resolution. As expected, standard uses less space and allows for faster download, while higher takes up more space and allows for slower downloads. Which one you choose is really up to you, and likely determined by how important high-def video is to you, and how much storage is available on your device. As indicated, the quality impacts how much data is downloaded. Netflix notes that while streaming, standard video quality can use upward of 700 megabits of data per hour, while higher can utilize up to 3 gigabytes of data while streaming. That's compared to 4K content on television using upward of 7 gigabytes for the same 60 minutes worth of content. That's a lot of data. So, as Netflix lets you download the bulk of its content for offline viewing, you should never want for something to watch, whether that is on the go on a train, plane or bus. There are plenty of choices to try, may we suggest Squid Game, The Witcher or Money Heist. In fact, the real question is not what you can watch, but whether you should watch Netflix or Amazon Prime. We've got some thoughts on that, links in the description. Okay, as always, thank you very much for watching. That's all for now, I will see you next time.